Good afternoon, everyone. It's noon again on a Wednesday here at Cooper Rinkin, and it's time for another one of our famous Lunch and Learns. And today we're going to introduce Kyler Gould. Kyler is one of our uh, newer team members coming out of our Portland, Oregon store. And with that introduction, Kyler, I'm going to just turn it straight over to you. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you, Douglas. Well, welcome to the Lunch and Learn on this beautiful end of June. Let's talk about some rugby rotating lasers here. We're going to start today with the 600 series, going from the 610, 20, 40, 640G, and 680. So let's just let's jump right into it. Like a rugby lasers, they're really meant for handling anything that is tough on the job site. They're built very rugged, as you can see here. Some of them more rugged than others, and they're able to level a line get everything ready for your job site or confirm as built, different things like that. So the 600 series is built for the general purpose. It's, it's for when, you know, you have guys from small contractors, even up to big contractors, but it's, it's the entry level that gets, gets the job done and they do IP67 rating. So they're able to be out there in the weather in the elements and just really handle whatever you throw at them. I've seen people come in and they're, you know, covered in concrete and concrete guys doing it and they, ha they handle the abuse. So you may be asking, because there's different laser levels. Why not a lino as opposed to a rotating laser? Lino is less expensive. What you're getting is you're getting improved radius by far to the magnitude of 10 times as much. A lino is only going to give you about 80 meters of, of distance, whereas a rotating laser starts at 800 meters and just gives you a lot more distance to be able to check on larger build sites, 360 degree operations, whereas a, a lino, you're only going to get 180 degrees. And you'll get vertical, but we'll see later that some of the rotating lasers also do that. You can get slope, and with machine control, there's certain options that the rotating lasers have that the linos don't that allow them to, with the speed, when it comes to the speed, that allow for machine control and leveling things. So real quick, let's just talk about the detectors, the different kinds. With the 640G, it's a requirement that you have the right detector for the right spectrum when it comes to the laser. So you're looking at the 120G for that because it's specifically, it's a little small here, but you can see the window actually is green to receive that green frequency. We also have the, the rod I 140, and this is for general use application. This is the most common one that we would sell when it comes to if you just need to know whether it's going up or down. Now, if you're looking for a little more precision, the Rod I-160 is really great for that. It allows you to actually show units of measurement. So am I a half an inch off? Am I three inches off? And you'll be able to really tell when you're moving that up and down using your linker rod. You can know exactly how much. And depending on your tolerances, you may only need a half an inch or an inch even. And then finally, we have the CLC combo. We'll see this later. This is more important when it comes to, in fact, only necessary with the CLH and CL active. It turns on certain functionalities when you're clicking through and it allows you to set certain slopes and, and we'll have a whole data sheet of all the options. But just so you know, the CLH and CL active further down the line a lot of guys will take the CLC combo and they'll also have a rod I-160, the CLC combo to unlock those functionalities and the rod I-160 just as a detector. So you may be wondering, what are some of the applications when it comes to the 600 series and the rotating lasers? A little small here, but we got site preparation, grade checking, slopes, ramps and driveways, and some of them have dual slope so you can work with that formwork 
verticality, you know, setting up your walls. If you're concrete, again, you know, the concrete guys, they, they need to make sure that it's flat. Otherwise, you know, think puddles and weird spaces, if there's a leak, uh, formwork leveling, level ceiling, and you shut out. So the 610, it's the entry level of all of our rotating lasers. It's one button. You set it up, put it on your tripod, you push the one button, it says more buttons, but you push one button and you're good to go. You're off to the races. It allows you to yeah, use either the 140 or the 160. And this is I really good for- at the moment, um, but I can try and help you oh. this quick. Oh, we can hear you, Douglas, there. Excuse us there. So the 620, let's just, let's get something out of the way here real quick. The 610 is, is the simplest one. And when you get to the 620, that's the first model that allows you to turn off the auto shut off when it comes to vibrations. So if you're working around heavy machinery, it's, it's sometimes that it'll put it too far off level that it'll automatically shut off to save precision. Now, so, sometimes you're okay with that and you allow it to, you allow the machine to pass by. And so you can turn that auto shut off function off with the 620. Concrete forming, pad placement, and you can do manual slopes on a single axis up to 8%. This is the first model that does a slope. Now the 640 and the 640G, again, we were talking about that green diode and the rod I 120G, that allows for you to be able to see the laser, whether it's bright or in indoor applications. With the red lasers, sometimes you just need to know at a far distance what your where your height is. But with the green laser, it allows you to do a visual check before you even get the detector out. And you can work with the different offsets. What's cool about the 640 and 640G is it's the first one that can go vertical, tip it on its side, and you can actually do vertical scan or vertical rotating in order to be able to set your wall to be level and, and you know not have a weird kilter to that. It also has a, they call it a plumb down, but it will shoot a laser out of the top of the unit as well as rotating it so that you can point it at an area and then be able to have your 90 degree from there. As well, you have a sleep mode function. So if you're off to lunch, you can save some batteries and still have it ready to go the moment you get back from there. Now the 680 is really the top of the line of the 600 series. It allows for dual grade, dual access. So you can go up or down an 8% on your X and your Y. And that allows you to do, if, if you needed to come up to a corner, it's a great function for that. It has a smart slope. So it's constantly checking for what the variables of, of temperature and how things are going throughout the day. So if with concrete, it can get hot or on asphalt and this allows you to help. It automatically makes those corrections. So this whole presentation will be available as a PDF later on. This slide is just to kind of show you some of the similarities and the differences, how all of them have automatic leveling. They all have really good working range. Their accuracy, 1.5 millimeters at 100 feet or 16 inch plus or minus. And at 100 feet, you're doing pretty good at that point. That's, that's one of the selling points of Leica is, is that you're really getting that precision and you know that it's going to be precise. All of them have an IP67 rating and just some of the differences with uh, manual slope on 620 and up and the green laser for the 640G and so on. So again, when you're setting your footings, you're setting your foundations, the 600 series really helps with ensuring that 
across a large scale, more than more than really a, a single house. You probably do a small apartment complex with these if you're trying to make sure that the whole plot is level. It's really great for that. And the 640G with this visibility, it we see it here in in the store. It even across the store for us only probably maybe 50 feet at most, the red beam starts to get really faint and the green beam is still very, very clear at that 50 foot and beyond. So with the, with the laser beams and the, and the rod eye, the 120, there is a 120 basic when it comes to the rod eye. We generally like to go with the 140 just because it allows for the enhanced range. If you're not, doing those indoor applications, the enhanced range is going to help you when you're outside and, and you get, pardon me, I don't have the foot con conversion, but it's, it's a 900 meter to 1,350 meter difference. So a fair amount. So we'll move on now to the CLH and the CL Active, which are really cool. They're upgradable lasers. They allow for a lot of extra functionality. And we can see here that they're even more rugged than the 600 series. These ones have, really, they have handles on all sides, which in, improves protection if it goes through a fall or a bump. Uh, this one has the, you can see it has the vertical plumb, whereas these ones, they only have it on the front side and they don't necessarily have it on the back side. So even more rugged and meant for th those big construction jobs, the, the professionals who are really looking to, to have something that's going to last and be repairable and ready to go from job to job. So CLH, it's simplicity. It's back to that one button. And that's where the, the combo, I also have that here. This is the CLC combo. And this allows you to add some of those other functionalities. But if you're just looking for horizontal laser, that's an option with the CLH while still being extra rugged. But having those upgrade options, we'll see a lot of those coming up here right now, in fact. So the base unit, an important thing to note is you don't need the CLC combo remote if you're only using it for horizontal. It's when you start adding the other functions, such as with the CLX200, the first upgradable option, it allows you to have slope and slope lock, slope catch, and that allows, that's unlocked with the CLC combo. Then we do the 300 and 400, which the 300, single grade, dial in 8% plus or minus, and the 400 also adds a dual grade. So depending on what you need, you could purchase what is applicable to the job. I'm going to put this up here real quick. Okay. So the CL Active, it's, or as some people like to say, the CLA Active. I've heard both ways. Really, whatever floats your boat when it comes to naming this thing, it's the top of the line when it comes to the ruggedness and the upgradable functions that it has are really pretty impressive. It allows you to level a line square. It, it does every task you're going to need it to do, especially when you unlock all of the upgrade options. We'll see some of those here. So again, you don't need the CLC combo. If you're just using it as a horizontal, if you're getting the most durable rugby laser around and you're just using it horizontal, okay. Cool, push the button, it's on, you're ready to go. The CLX 250, you're getting that slope. And then we start to unlock some more things with the 500, making it again, vertical to match that 640, the comparison 640, but upgraded. With the 600 and 700, then we get that single grade and dual grade as well, adding in as the functions for the CL active. And the, the big key point when, when we're choosing between a 600, CLH, and a CL Active is 
from what I've seen, if you're needing to get even steeper, up to 15% plus or minus on the CL active, whereas the other models in the 600 and CLH series, you're only getting about 8%. So again, as we were talking earlier, here's some similarities and some differences between the different CL active models. They all have a, a respectable working range. They all are within that 16th inch accuracy within 100 feet. They have the IP68 rating, so even more durable, even more water can be poured on it. I don't know if I'd use it underwater, but I, <laughs> it could probably be pulled out of the water and still be able to function on your job site. Now, the cool part about the different versions is that you upgrade different connectivities and you also, on top of those other slopes, on top of those, those vertical or, or plums. And so you're getting smart link capabilities that are, that as you go up in the models, you're allowed to, you're allowing yourself to transfer more data over cloud services or wireless connectivity and be able to communicate in, in a more digitized way. So we have this up here. This is for all of you data nerds out there. I know I'm one of those guys that when I'm choosing it, I like to have a checklist and this will be available on the PDF. But when you're really dialing in, making your, your purchasing decisions, hopefully this helps you with being able to find the right model for the job and uh, you'll see things like the 15% and 8% and, and little, little footnotes here where we have the single asterisk. It shows you where the CLC combo would be necessary or not. And with that, the final thing to keep in mind is keep your rugby laser at its, at its peak performance. What that's going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to be able to confidently go to the people you're working for and say, hey, we know that this is at a good precision and every six to 12 months, bringing it in for a clean and calibration, depending on how much it gets beat up, or if it falls and breaks, our service center has access to all the parts to be able to prepare and replace whatever is necessary. So with that, thank you for joining us. And there are there are plenty of information that we can get. You can contact me. My contact information is at the bottom, either my email or my cell number. That'll go directly to me. It's right here. And if you're looking for someone more local to you, contact your Kuka Rankin representative at kukarankin.com slash contact us. Thank you for joining us. Do we have questions? Well done, Kyler. We have a couple questions for you here. One of the first questions that's come up from our Facebook group is, what does a receiver do for the user? What does a receiver do for the user? Well, with if you just wanted a visual alignment, you're going to need the 640G, but the receiver allows you, it'll let out a tone. And so if you if you're working around the job site and you're needing to know whether it goes up or down, it'll start beeping at you instead of having to look at the actual screen. It, it has that functionality. It also can tell you the exact, on the 160, exactly how up or down you need to go. Okay, another question we have here is what's the, uh, are there different tones if you're uh, above or below level? To my understanding, yes. I couldn't recreate them for you. I had I had not turned them on, and, and so I couldn't beep them for you, but they do make different tones for That's up or down. Cool. And what is the warranty period on these products? Oh, great question. That is one, that is one I'm going to look to my team for to see if, if they know off, the, off of that while we're answering some other questions. Okay, while we uh, here's another question that's coming in from one of our local attendees while we wait for that to come forward. When setting a slope, is it only in one direction or is it continuous all around the instrument? Thank you for that question there, Doug. Uh, appreciate you being with us again. 
as in the, does it take the whole slope to where it's both directions or if it's just in one direction? I would say that depends on, on which model that you're looking at. So if you're looking at the single grade, it's going to move the whole thing. And if you're looking at the dual grade, you can, you can change those two. Okay. So we have an answer that's come forward from the team here that uh, the, the rugby's are warranted for 36 months uh, or um, 42 months if they purchased it from a, a rugby distributor. So uh, whichever happens first, 36 months from the date of purchase by the customer, 42 months uh, from when it was delivered to the reseller. So thank you for the team team answer there. It's always great thank having the Cooper yeah. Rinkum team on these uh, these calls that can answer certain things that we might not have on the tip of our tongue. Great right, question, that. though. Great <laughs> qu it's something I would ask. A, a minute or two left for, for questions for anybody that's got them. And, and uh, before we conclude, Kyler, do you have a do you have a favorite rugby? Is there one in the, the lineup that is your particular favorite? I like the 640G because I like the green laser. I like being able to see it. And most of my applications would not be very, if I were doing personal projects, my personal applications would be within a relatively small area and being able to see it and get that visual alignment prior to even needing to use the detector would be something I would enjoy. And it has the vertical vertical plumb which is pretty makes cool it sense to me why you'd like that one the best yeah it, it and especially in bright bright daylight it gives it, a whole of lighter to see portland's known for for its greenery and so you just go with the theme of the region so <laughs> fair enough fair enough well kyler that looks like it's the uh, the end of all of our questions folks if you look in your chat box there you'll see uh, some some additional information that, that we've we've put in there for you. It's also got our upcoming lunch and learns. We will not have a lunch and learn next Wednesday, as that is the Wednesday following the Fourth of July, and a lot of folks are out for that holiday week. So our next lunch and learn will be held on July nineteenth. We'll be uh, involved with the CS twenty and, and GS eighteen, showing survey techniques and workflow with Jeremy Kippen. So we look forward to welcoming Jeremy back. On July 26th, we will have a, a discussion on LIDAR and photogrammetry with Brady Reich. Uh, those are some of our most popular as we start getting into photogrammetry and, and LIDAR. At Kuka Rankin, we're very proud of our LIDAR team and, and uh, what we have available to, to inform our LIDAR users or those who are considering LIDAR. So you won't want to miss that one on July 26th. And of course, you can always check on our, our Eventbrite page to see uh, other upcoming lunch and learns. So we look forward to seeing you at those, those uh, next events. Kyler, outstanding job today. Folks, thanks for spending the time and attending with us. And thanks to you next week.